Hello, welcome to this week's episode of Tokusatsu Thursdays. Today, we're reviewing another Keita Emiya show. This time, we're reviewing Shogeki Goraigon, which is a 2013 Tokusatsu show, right? And it stars Takahiro Keito as Go, Nami Kazuya as Sho, uh, Yua Shinkawa as Hitomi, Toshihide Wakamatsu from um, from Ch- Chosen Setai Jetman plays the main villain Jin in this show, right? So the show has 13 episodes. It's basically a parody of uh, of Super Sentai, but if with uh, you know if basically if Keita Emiya drew Garo S designs for all the different characters, uh, right? And uh, the show is the show is most of the time it's a sitcom, but uh, every episode they make sure to add action scenes. Um, so the the show. The story for this show is the main. Well, there's like two main characters. You have Go, who's like the red and black. Um, uh, he's like a red and black samurai, right? And he's like a demigod, and he's traveling through space, right, on aboard a ship that's carrying uh, a bunch of Kagurbito, which are basically. Uh, like, uh, disgraced, disgraced guardians, right? Who are supposed to protect humanity. They're basically like demigods. And he's traveling through space with his, um, with his, like, basically his, with his version uh, of, like, uh, Morg, not Morgana, um, fuck. <laughs> What's the AI thing from Halo? Basically, is like this naked w- woman pixie, right? Uh, who, who's like his like uh, AI says navigator. I think she's called Navi Navi in the show, right? And they're transporting uh, a bunch of prisoners, and they're they're supposed to be taken to into exile, right, into the Forbidden Land. When their ship gets uh, gets uh, ambushed by a mag Amaji, which are the main villains, main b- monsters of the show, which is this giant naked woman and the main character with the ba- with the space battleship, right? Uh, has a space battle and like he finally defeats the giant space alien woman by having the main cannon shoot shoot him uh, tw- towards the the giant uh, so he can stab stab him stab her with his sword but at, because of the battle his ship crashes on earth releasing all, all the prisoners including Jin who was uh, Jin who's played by Toshihida Wakamatsu who was guy from Ch- Chosen Sentai Jetman who was uh, a former H- Hagurbito, right? And he was a, a show, a guard general like Go, and they were best friends until they had a falling out when Jin fell in love with Go's girlfriend Ren, right? And like a huge plot of the sh- uh, subplot of the show is what happened with Ren, right? Which was uh, Go's girlfriend, right? And uh, J- J- uh, Jin uh, escapes, and he's going to lead a thousand soldiers to annihilate humanity. And our main character Go is assigned the task of of uh, recruiting the form the former prisoners, right, and to join his team so he can fight the one thousand soldiers, right? In the meanwhile, Go and his underlings, which 
Each episode is him, like the first five episodes, besides from the first one, is him going out, finding one of the uh, prisoners, and having a fight with them so they, they can join his team, right? And like most of the show is them living with Hitomi, who's like supposed to, I think she's supposed to be a high school girl, who is a special uh, girl who can see like magi and the demi uh, like the demigods right and she lives at her grandma's uh house that is also an, also an antique store right where all the all the goes underlings um work at right so like the uh, other characters of the show so um are um which are all part part of the title of this show you have show who is the uh female like kind of like angel right she's basically like the white and pink power ranger of this show you have uh rai who's like the yellow who's the yellow one who's like a chinese uh, warrior with a dog or monkey face, I haven't, fi I didn't figure that out yet. Who's kind of a, who was exiled because he was a hedonist. He liked, he liked booze and women. You have which show, show was show the white angel one was exiled because she's very va vain, right? And in her episode, she kept, she keeps stealing. The forms of beautiful women and then turning them into butterflies that harass her throughout the show. In that episode, you also got a cameo from Cal, Cal uh, from uh, from Garo, which there's also other regulars from Kata Emiya shows in this in the show, right? Um, the other characters you have Show, uh, sorry, not Show. Uh, oh, what was his name? Uh, Geki. Who is like who's like the Green Ranger? He is a futuristic uh, suit, and his main weapon is a ball, a green ball. And he's like the gamer. His episode where they introduced him, he's like he's like the king of D Dance Dance Revolution, <laughs> right? And like Go has to beat him in Dance Dance Revolution for him to join his team, right? Um, which I forgot to mention, like uh, Rai, who's the yellow. Ranger has like a double-sided mace weapon and show has like a bow and arrow and the last one is uh, Gone who is like a, a blue Samurai with like with like I think a dragon's head at his core who has Who uh, as torso or is it like it's like a dragon slash Oni right and he 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 was exiled because um, he, he thought he was the embodiment of absolute justice and we go around killing like, you know, uh, Ma uh, Magi, right? And then the, there's not, not all Magi are evil, some Magi are good, right? So yeah, mo so like, a good portion of this show, like I said, is a sitcom, right? Where our characters get into hijinks. Right, there's even like, there's even a Hot Springs episode, and then like, you know, once in a while we, we cut to Jin, right, who basically stole the identity of this Japanese Bruce Wayne guy, who's running his company with the help of his secretary, who's also played by the the same actress who plays the, the, na the naked pixie. Uh, Navi, right? Uh, who is goes like you know navigator for his ship, right? And she she's basically the main fan service of the show, who's like super hot for her boss, right? To the point where he go when he does business, most of his business is him like killing his business rivals right in front of her, and it just makes her like get like super turned on, what? Uh, it, which there's actual sex in the show, but there's no actual sex scenes, if that makes any sense. Well, except for there's like one uh, episode where there's kind of like a sex scene. Which there is nudity in this show, but like not a lot of nudity, right? There's not even any... 
nudity for the Hot Springs episodes, which you thought there would totally be nudity, right? But it turns out there wasn't. So yeah, um, main enemies for the show are basically like the small Magi Maggie and the giant, giant enemies that show up in the show, right? Which there isn't a mech like until the very last episode where where they they fight a giant kaiju and their ship turns into a giant robot which i totally didn't think that was going to happen in this show but since they were parodying super sentai i should have known that they were going to do that which there was an episode where they straight up parodied like you know uh, Super Sentai as well, but the show is a most the mo the show is mostly like a parody of Super Sentai, but it's like a sitcom, right? But there are action in the episode in some of the episodes. Uh, my problem with the show is that there's a lot of green screens. There are practical effects, but a lot of green screens, a lot of digital effects, uh, not a lot of enemy types in this show. Right, and like the show has a lot of side characters, but like you know, it's mostly the show mostly focuses on Hitomi, Go, and then Jin, right? Which Jin's actor does a great job. I I, I love that guy. I I, lo I love Toshihida Wakamachi. I wish he did more Tokusatsu shows. Which besides from this and Jetman, he did. Like, he had, like, a bit part in Eight Man, and he was in some show called um, Special Rescue XC Draft, which I don't know if he played one of those main uh, people. I don't think he did, right? So, yeah. Um, what, well, yeah, the problem with the show is the show looks super low budget at times, right? And uh, th they're... Their continuity in this show is fucking out of whack to the point where like a bunch of side characters die in one episode and then they're just brought back <laughs> in the next episode. I I guess maybe the monster didn't kill them, it just looked like it killed them. I have no fucking idea, man. And then there's the like there's like a couple twists and turns in the show where it, it turns out one character that one character in the show turns out to be another character, right? And then like the the person you find out well basically you find out one character was masquerading as another character and at that, that the original person that you fought was like that person was dead the entire time but then comes b back to life in the next episode, right? And the show breaks the fourth wall a lot, man. It, it got kind of annoying. But yeah, that twist did not make a lot of sense since one of the characters, Hitomi, has the power to see, like, see people's true forms, right? So the main characters, the Hikaru Bido, um, they have their, their main, there's no henshin in the show. They basically always look the same, but like they're able to disguise themselves as humans, right? Uh, when they're navigating for the real world, except from uh, Hitomi. Hitomi can always see their like true form. So how come she wasn't able to see that that one person who was masquerading as a human was like actually you know how 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 come she was able to see through that person that made that made kind of no sense and uh but other than that i really enjoyed the show uh it it does get a little boring not boring but like you know if the show feels a little random at times and yeah it's mostly a sitcom it's not this it's not the badass tokusatsu show that you that you were that you think it would be compared to other Keita Emiya shows, but th this show is still a good show. And if you're looking for more of a fun Tokusatsu show, right? Um, this this show is for you. And plus, there's you know, it's not it's not like a lot of kiddie, uh, you know, to uh, Tokusatsu shows. 
There is like nudity and there's sex jokes and stuff, right? And lots of fan service, right? But the show is more of like a fun show, right? So if I were to give this show a rating, it's a 6.5 out of 10. It has its problems, but you know, you have really great designs by Keita Emiya and the show is fun, right? And I totally didn't see the twist coming at the end of the show. Though that kind of made it feel a little bit random. I was still like, it was still cool to see like, oh, there was actually a mech in the show. Which the mech, um, looks like a model. It doesn't look like a guy in a suit. Which, you know, which some people might not like the fact that it's a model. But it kind of makes it more feel like a giant robot since it moves slow. And like, you know, it, it has this really cool sleek design, right? Yeah, so that's it for this review, guys. Um, next week, we're going to review the Gona Guy Devil Man live action movie. Uh, yeah, since it's October, I thought hey, we should review more of a horror like, you know, Tokusatsu show. Even though um, the show, that show, that movie, Devil Man is mostly CGI, it is still like, you know. Uh, there's still, it's still a live action film and there's still special effects. And that fit, that Devil Man movie, you know, counts as Tokusatsu. People consider shit like the, like, like Polymar and like Cutie Honey Tokusatsu, then fucking Devil Man should count as well. Alright guys, peace.